Hey, listen, we're all parents, all of us, right? We all got kids. And right here on the screen, we have Francis Ngannou announces the death of his one-year-old son. Life is so unfair. I saw this yesterday and, you know, the love that we all have as, as MMA fans for, for, for Francis Ngannou and ju just seeing him win at life in, 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 the, in the recent journey that he's been on. And some of the comments that he, put, he posted yesterday in his comment, I'm going to come to you first, Yao. Some of the comments that he posted yesterday in terms of you do all these things, you go through all these trials and tribulations, the people that you're actually doing it for, they just they just you know tragically passes away you know it's 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 so sad and from the bottom of my heart i want to say you know i mean uh, you know condolences to him his family his loved ones everybody uh in his family that's affected by by that kid passing away it's just it's just it's, it's a tough tough uh, uh pill to swallow yeah uh, you have anything to say you know, I, I think it's one of those things, uh, and I think I want to say first thing is condolences to Francis Ngannou and his family. Uh, may his son rest in peace. It's never easy to lose a family member, let alone a child that young. And, you know, all strength to the Ngannou family during this difficult time. And it, it goes back to what we always talk about when we say that fighters are real people, having real lives. They're not just people who are out there for the prize as much as that's what they are, prize fighters. So having this news come out is very sad uh, for Francis Ngannou, and I hope that God speak to him that it doesn't really affect um, um, him too much emotionally as much as this is an absolutely devastating blow. And for him to share with the MMA community so candidly on social media, I think we all definitely appreciate uh, being let into his journey, into his pain, uh, his family's pain, the current tribulations, and how that's adding to the overall journey that is the story of Francis, the predator in Ghanu. So God speak to him and his family, and I hope that they can get through this uh, as 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 best as they can. You can see the pain that they that he's clearly going through, and 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 the the struggle to deal with it just by that post alone. I mean, it says mm -hmm. too soon to leave, but yet he's gone. My little boy, my mate, my partner Kobe was full of life and joy, and now he's laying without life. I shouted his name over and over, but he's not responding. I was my best self next to him, and now I have no clue of who I am. Life is so unfair to hit us where it hurts the most. How do you deal with such a thing? How can you live with it? Please help me if you have an idea, because I really don't know what to do and how to deal with this. Yeah, that's fucking brutal. Uh, I've, I've got a 15-month-year-old, and, and I don't know. I, I can't even comprehend yeah, I mean that's as painful as it as it comes. Uh, J Jordan, I mean, when you saw that news yesterday, you must have you, you must have felt it just like the rest of us. We, we was yeah, talking man. about it in, in 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 the group and in the group chat, bro. It's like I said, we're all parents, and the question that Francis is asking there, that like, how do you how do you even work out what to do in these sort of situations, mate? You can't make me. You know I mean, it's absolutely tragic, it's devastating. Like no, I, I said it on Twitter as well. I said no, like no man, no parent, like no father should have to bury their own kid, mate. Like, they're honestly, heartbreaking. Um, I've got friends who have lost children in uh, in real life. You know what I mean? Like that I know personally. I say in real life, this happened in real life. Like, right? but it, the, the, I mean, this this was a couple of years ago that one of the recent ones lost a child, and there's no getting over it. There's no there's no recovering from it. There's just there's no dealing with it. You know what I mean? You just go day by day and there's a massive PC you're missing. Like for, for hours after finding out that news, I was just sitting, just, you know, it makes you think, it makes you think about your own kids, it makes you think about your own future, it makes you consider everything that you should be grateful for when you hear about something that's as tragic as this happening. And when, especially when you read that post, that I, I was getting goosebumps when Leroy was reading that there. You know what I mean, just uh, screaming his name, but not calling back and, I think like Leroy said, he's got a kid quite close to the age himself. Obviously, my daughter's just turned two as well. So it's, you know what I mean? It resonated with maybe me and him a little, that little bit extra just because our kids are so close in age too. Like, what if that did happen with our kids? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's horrible news. And there's even, even somebody as strong as Francis, it's going to break. You know what I mean? Like, but as I said as well, like, I'm not I'm not religious, but it comes back to that that verse from like the Bible of, 
you know I mean, God, God gives his uh, toughest soldiers the hardest battles, and it's yeah. it's heartbreaking, yeah. man. Hundred percent. Well said. Well said, brother. Um, it's 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 just a it's a, it's just a tough, tough, tough thing to deal with. And look, it it doesn't matter what age, but when they're that little. I remember, yeah. you know, Rick Cross, even even, and and he's one he's one of my favorite uh, music artists. And and he says he only shed he only shed tears when babies when babies die. You know what I mean? Like because that's where that's where it really hurts. That's where you know what I mean. Like it's I don't even see him um um even even getting back into any kind of competition. Not uh, for a while. Until, until, uh, not for a while. Until further notice, yeah. I say. You know, uh, onto further notice because some something like this for somebody like Francis, because his motivation clearly was was to provide for his family, was to put food on the table, and uh, you know to have that ripped away from him, uh, uh, you know, at such a young age is it's just it's just brutal, man. I know, so I know, brutal. it doesn't really change anything at all. But has anyone heard any news of the of the cause? No, not no, seen any. No, I've not no, not no. been walking either, to be I, honest with you. But I, it's hard I, to even read the headline, let alone want to read the story. Or, I know, yeah, especially yeah. when you read his own words there, as that he was calling his yeah. name. It's like, yeah, I mean, it's what yeah. did happen? Is it a sudden thing? But again, it, 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 even just reading that, I had to I had to speed through it a little bit because it starts to make you emotional. It's like, hundred percent heavy. I, I I remember when um you know Mohammed uh, Usman lost lost his son, um Kamaru Usman's brother. And um, you know, it took it took a while before we ended up finding out, you know, what really happened. And his son was just playing around with family, jumped in the pool, drowned in the pool before yeah. anybody could even realize, you know, what 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 had happened. So um, it, these tragic things, uh, it's just it's just it just hurts, you know. And and yeah, that, that's you know, if life's gonna hit somebody, that's where you really where it really really hits you and uh, it's 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 hard it's going to be hard for him to come back from this and i hope i hope in time not forget his son obviously but he finds a way to uh to try to try and manage it and um and 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 get back into some form of what he knows how to do uh and and you know in the same way that mohammed usman used it as an inspiration and dedicates a lot of his fight a lot of his wings towards the sun it gives him a reason to to you know mm -hmm. to get back in there and keep on fighting uh and hopefully you know uh we will see some some charities uh you know in the name of his son because francis Ngannou is is is, is mma ambassador uh for africa you know so uh, it's something that i'm sure a lot of people would would want to would want to encourage and 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 uh, and and partake in uh, should should something like that come about? There's okay. absolutely going to be an army behind him for if yeah. he's, if he's calling for any sort of action, any sort of community help, like the MMA community and the boxing community and for boxing that fact. Community. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I was I was literally about to say like the the movement that's been behind this already from the MMA community and just the. The, the feedback that he's been getting, the comments that he's been getting, the show, uh, the love and uh, the support that he's been getting already as well has just been phenomenal. I mean, it, show, it shows a complete different side to the sport that you don't see from a week-to-week -week basis, um, from social media aspects anyway, you know what I mean? But, yeah. Well, it definitely time, takes yeah. you aback seeing one of the most scary, the scariest, one of the scariest blokes on the planet uh, uh, looking so vulnerable, right? It, it really, uh, it really hits everybody where it hurts, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, wh wh whenever the time is right for him, when he feels comfortable uh, to 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 come back into into combat sports, we'll, we'll you know we'll be we'll be here waiting to receive him with uh, with open arms. Uh, I, I'm I'm definitely definitely sure about that. Okay, uh, let's let's switch gears. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget we do our dust off shakedown every Wednesday, nine p.m. UK time. Don't miss it.